Let's build together an AQL search on the Log Activity tab. Of course, you need to make sure that you are in Advanced Search, not the Google Like, the Quick Filter. And you start with the famous Select. And let's say that I'm interested on the IPs that go from my internal IP that go out and I want to see the one that transmits the amount, the largest amount of data, the one that has some bad uh, reputation, stuff like that. So I'm going to start by the first column, and the only column we're going to use is going to be source IP. Source IP. The look ahead finds it, and it's right here. And I like to use the look ahead to make sure that I have the right syntax, that I'm not making a mistake in it. And, and you can start as simple as, you know, from events. That's the name of the database for logs. And, you know, that's, that's a simple statement right there. Now, we want to make this a little bit more interesting. I want to see the ones that, that have the most number of events, that, that, that have the most traffic actually going. Well, I can add another column in here, and I want this to be the sum, that's the sum function, of the event counts. And there is actually a variable called event count from event. And I always like to, uh, oh, come on, I like to run the search every time. Now, but I'm sure that I have more than one IP, right? So if I add a statement here, group by source IP, let's see what happened. We run that search and I get far many more events. By default for the last five minutes, if I do 24 hours. Oh, I need to put the hour at the end. And that's what I like to go little by little to make sure I don't make, if when I make a mistake, I can easily recover from it and see where I made a mistake. Say that I'm interested on the traffic that is from the outside in. Well, and when you need to filter data, that's where the word clause is for. So I can put here where, and there is a there is a variable called event direction. If I type event D, it finds it here for me. And when I say when the event direction is equal to remote to local. I put a space, I run this again, and that's giving me only the ones that go from the outside in. That's very good. Now, let's say that from this particular group, I want to sort this out by the one that has the most event count. Well, one thing that is going to be useful at this point that I'm going to be referencing that event count is to give this a name. Okay. I can use the function everywhere else, but it's, it's cleaner to, to call here is, uh, well, I'm going to call it uh, even, I put a number percent there, right? a hash there, even number. Uh, and I run it and all this does is, well, it doesn't like that hashtag there. And that's what I like to do to run these things little by little. Okay, I did not know that I cannot put a hashtag there. Uh, so, uh, so, but now is this event total, and now what I can do is after the group by, I can actually say well order by. And then I put event total. And the look ahead finds it here for me. I put a space. I'm going to try that. Yeah, 
but actually I want it in the reverse order. So by default, as you can see, the order by is ascending. If you want it descending, you put DS, DESC, and now I have the, the way I want it. But let's say that I want to figure out if any one of these IPs has a bad reputation. Hmm. Well, I can add one more column in here. Let's say I add it uh, after the source IP. So I go here, I put a comma for the next column, and I'm going to use the XForce IP category. And, and part of the trick on AQL is knowing, you know, the, all the function has a great deal of functions for doing whatever you want. And, and, and even if you, you can create your, your custom functions as well. So in here, what we need to put is precisely the source IP. Okay. If we run it, we're going to have another column. And this one do not have any bad reputation other than dynamic IP for these, these ones here. Mm -hmm. So let's say that I want the ones that had malware, or let's say I'm, I'm looking only for the ones that have dynamic IPs. Let's, let's see that. And, and this is going to be case sensitive, so notice where what things are uppercase and lowercase. Now, I want to put another where clause here, besides of the data from the outside in, I actually want to do an and for adding another condition. I want to want to put is when the the reputation is dynamic IP. But how do I do that? Well, the easiest way and the most elegant way is that I'm going to rename this column as and I'm going to call it category. Doesn't have to be uppercase, I guess. Uh, and actually, I'm going to run it. I have an and here. But actually, let me run it, as I said before, little by little. All this is going to do is we're going to rename that as category. But what I want to say here in the in the where clause is add an, another condition and where category is an uppercase is equal to I put single quotes, dynamic IPs, and this is case sensitive, right? Let me see if I got this right, and I did. I only got those two that has the dynamic people. Let's say that I want to search for other conditions, malware, uh, botnet, command and control servers, and things like that. So what I need to do is replace the equal to the in, then I put a parenthesis and put all the conditions that I'm looking for here. So let's say that I'm looking for malware. Any one of those two, and I'll, I'll get the same result because as we saw before, only we have dynamic IPs in this particular search. So the result is the same because they, this is an OR condition, if it's either dynamic IP or malware or, you know, any of the other categories that you get from the X-Force. So, again, a simple example of how to go little by little on the building. Notice that this is now a, a particularly large AQL. And remember that if you don't even want to go through this process, whatever search you have, let me actually go into any search in here that I may have saved. Uh, I'm going to grab anyone in here. Notice that if I go here on edit search and I go into any one of those searches, I you know, this could be a faster way, this one for example, you have that beautiful show AQL button that is going to build that AQL for you. But yes, you can see it is not hard to know uh, AQL. You can start with this show AQL and then modify your, your AQL uh, down the road.